We're all in the same boat, we're told. Or are we? Stay at home, social distancing, masks, wash hands, hand sanitizer, open restaurants, don't open restaurants. We are all affected by the rules designed by various experts and set out by governmental entities like national, state, and local authorities. I have friends whose businesses are simply shuttered right now due to this adventure. And on the other end of the spectrum, it hasn't affected me or many other of my friends all too terribly much. Oh, the Zoom meetings are getting a bit old, but other than that, we're fine. Some hourly workers are faring better on unemployment than when they were working. And others haven't even been able to get a hold of their state unemployment offices and file yet. Some breadwinners are able to juggle this new work-from-home reality and use that commuting time to better connect with their families and spruce up their landscaping. Others are cooped up in underfunded, stressful domestic environments where depression, abuse, suicide rates are creeping up. And then there's the issue of child care. What if you're called back to work when you're told it's safe-ish and there's no place for your child? Some have grandparents, nannies, sitters. Others are just out of luck. In some corners of the country, it's being suggested that public schools may not even open when the fall semester begins. So at best, I can say we are all in the same storm, but by no means are we all in the same boat. The capricious nature of how the rules are deployed can drive one crazy. In neighboring St. Charles County, for example, restaurants are open with spacing and mask limitations. But here in St. Louis County, they're not open yet. Possibly will be by the time you see this, I think. So what do the risk takers do? Well, they just go across the county line into St. Charles County and party, of course. When will schools open? Salons, markets, services? That pretty much depends on where you live and what the statistics are saying and how they're interpreted and the decisions of various layers of governance under which you live. So when our world opens is absolutely critical to getting our lives back in track. Let's say everything is open tomorrow, that, that flip switch the authorities told us could never happen, just for argument's sake. What are you willing to do? When are you opening? Now I've been setting my standards all along. I'm pretty sure you have too. For example, the experts have cho I've chosen to believe have convinced me of a few of things about these cloth masks. These, leaving the N95s for frontline medical staff for now. First, they're not very useful defensively. They don't stop virus droplets from getting in. They're made to stop my droplets from getting out. And their main purpose is protecting those around us, not us. And second, the risk of absorption out in the open air, where I walk and run, is minuscule. Third, it's six feet apart or a mask. When I'm outside and control the distance from others, inside, grocery stores, etc., I'm at much higher risk of not being able to keep that six foot radius, so the mask goes on. That's been the bulk of the choices I've had to make so far. Outside, no mask. Inside, mask. But now they're going to start opening my world. Stores, gyms, meetings, restaurants, etc. The question is, how am I going to open? That's right. Up to now, the choice of setting our limits has been made, or at least requested, mostly at the whim of authorities. Your favorite restaurant is now open for dining in. Are you going? When and how are you going to open? It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.